Dear students, in this session, we will see how to calculate the energies given out as a result of the secondary structure formation in the RNA molecule. As you know, RNA is comprised of four nucleotides, A, U, G, and C, and that they are found, they are attached to the ribose sugars in the backbone of the RNA molecule. More so, hydrogen bonds can form between the complementary nucleotides. The nucleotides that bond together are G and C and A and U. As a result, the energy is given out after the bond is formed and the RNA molecule becomes more stable. Now we will see how to calculate this energy. As you know, we have the energy output table as given here. And you can see from this table that if G and C form a bond, then minus 2.4 kilocalories is given out. We will see how to calculate the energy of a sample molecule. The sequence of the sample molecule is A, U, G, U, C and onwards until G, A, C, A, U. As you can see, the AUGUC portion is the 5 prime end and the GACAU is the 3 prime end. Let's see what happens when this molecule folds. Here we can easily form bonds between the complementary nucleotides A and U and so on and so forth. Upon the formation of each bond, energy will be continuously given out and we will try to accumulate all the energy that is given out and see the net energy that is given out. So if A and U form a bond, from the table you can see that minus 2.1 kilocalories will be given out. Continuing on, if U and A were to bond, the energy given out will be minus 2.1 kilocalories as well. If G and C bond, you can look up from the table and minus 2.4 kilocalories will be given out. You can keep writing each one of them against the bonds that are formed like that. And at the end, you can see that we have the values for the energies that are given out as, as a result of the bond formation between each complementary nucleotide. Dear students, now to calculate the net energy that is given out, as a result of this entire folding process, we simply have to add them up. So, upon addition, all of these energy values taken from here, we know that minus 12 kilocalories has been given out. So, minus indicates that the energy is released in the process and we know that if the RNA molecule folds and energy is given out, the RNA molecule becomes more stable. So, to conclude, the nucleotides that are bonding together by making hydrogen bonds incur stability onto the RNA structure and give it a uh, functional uh, quality. The net energy that was released in the example that we just saw was minus 12 kilocalories per mole. Of course, if you have a bigger structure, then this calculation can be longer. As a result of this process, a secondary structure is formed and the RNA molecule becomes stable.